guys. We were recently tagged, actually it was probably a little over a month ago, by Cassie from Shades of Cassie to do the 25 things you don't know about me tag. And oh boy, I think I've come up with 25 somewhat good things, probably really mostly random. And if you know me on a personal level, like if you're a friend or a family member, then some of these things you're going to be like, yeah, 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 I already knew that. But for the most part, I think that all of you guys who watch us are going to learn some new things about me that I've never mentioned here on our videos before. And Jamie's in the room with me, so if I look at her or if I ask her a question or she laughs at me at some point, um, we're filming these videos together. We're just taking separate turns. But anyway, I have my iPhone here. I wrote down my 25 things because I could definitely not like wing this on the fly. I don't trust myself. My memory is really bad, which is actually number one. I have a horrible memory. So if I repeat something that I have already said before in an old video, I'm sorry. It's just because I don't remember. I have a really, really bad memory. And that didn't start for me until like maybe in the past four or five years. So anyway, 33, you wouldn't think my memory is going already, but I'm afraid it is. Um, okay, let's see what else. These are going to be really funny and totally <laughs> random. All right. So, when I was in sixth grade, I was 11, I became an aunt for the very first time. My sisters are 8 and 12 years older than I am, so my oldest sister, Tracy, had my nephew, Kyle. Now, I thought that was kind of a fun fact because at 11, most people aren't becoming aunts. And I know that in my class, I was definitely the only person who had a nephew or a niece and I was so excited about it that like after he was born I went into school and did like a whole like show and tell on my nephew was born this is how much he weighed these are Polaroid pictures of him because yeah I shake a Polaroid picture um and I had my entire locker like paste like plastered with photos of him it was the biggest deal to me like to be an 11 and to be an aunt and um I still adore him to death um, number two, I have a pillowcase that I'm really attached to, and it's really weird, and I should probably show it to you guys, but I don't know, it's kind of embarrassing. It has holes in it, it is ratty along the edges, the hem has fallen out, it is really, really bad, but it's this, like, really super soft yellow fabric. I've had it for about eight years, and it is nasty. I mean, I wash it, but it's just still, it's so bad, but I can't get rid of it. I cannot throw it away. Chris keeps asking me, like, please just toss that thing out, and I'm like, I can't. I'm obsessed with it. Um, all right, number, what am I on? Is this four? Okay. When I sleep, I have to have moving air around my face. I can't sleep in a room that has, like, stagnant air. So I have to have a fan moving because if I don't have, like, air moving around my nose and my mouth, I get really, like, creeped out. Um, the next one. My first pet was a black lab, and her name was Honey. And we got her when I was about a year and a half old, and Honey was one of my first words that... I learned and my mom and dad asked me like what do you want to name her and honey was the first thing that came out of my mouth so it stuck but she was a black lab and her name was honey which is kind of funny because it's not like she was a yellow lab named honey but um she was a sweetheart I loved her and I think that started my love affair with labs because well now I'm, I've had four in my life um okay totally random but so true my very first crush was Kenny Rogers mm-hmm some That's people right. might not know who Kenny Rogers is. Kenny Rogers. I loved that man. Yeah, and if you were way too young to know who Kenny Rogers, are, it, R Kenny Rogers is, then you need to Google him. But he was the love of my life when I was like four. And my mom and dad told me, I remember this just very, very little bit, but my mom and dad always said that I would go up to my room and I would get my suitcase, like probably my little Barbie miniature suitcase on wheels, and fill it with clothes, pajamas, a stuffed animal, and that I would drag it down our steps and that they would be like, what are you doing? And I'd say, Kenny Rogers is coming to pick me up. He, we're going to get married. But he never showed up. Um, okay. I have a scar under my lip right here, the fullest part of my lower lip. There's a little scar right there that's in the shape of a V. What happened there was 
I decided that it would be a good idea one day. Again, I'm guessing I was like in the four or five years old range to ride my tricycle through my granny's house. And my tricycle wheels somehow got caught on like her rug that was around her bed and it flipped me over the tricycle and I hit the um, bed frame of her where her, that, like I hit, I came down on the bed frame. Yeah. And I bled and it left a cut and oh my gosh, I have a scar. Okay. Um, if I could only eat one thing for the rest of my life, it would be tortilla chips. Hands down. I don't need anything with nutritional value. I probably won't survive very long. But I love tortilla chips. And if I could just, like, beg upon someone to let me have one more thing, I'd ask for salsa. Because tortilla chips would be awfully lonely without salsa. Um, this was interesting because Cassie, the girl who tagged us, also um, said that this was one of her 25 things. But I skipped my junior year of high school. I think most people who know me really, really well, know that. Um, I didn't do it for any particular reason. I had enough credits when I got out of my sophomore year that I realized that if I took I, um, English 11 in summer school, then I could skip my junior year, go straight to my senior year, and graduate a year early. And I really just did it because I could. I just want, I had the credits and I didn't want to be in school another year. My parents were totally supportive of it. I had great grades. Um, and I thought that that would lead into me like starting college early. Yeah, that didn't happen. Um, okay, Chris and I have the words, you are my everything engraved on the inside of our wedding bands. And you might be familiar with an old Keith Urban song called My Everything or I Want to Be Your Everything. I think it's I Want to Be Your Everything. Um, and most people probably don't know that inside of our wedding bands, we have You Are My Everything and then our wedding date, which is 4304. Um, another little random fact, I've definitely never mentioned this, is that I used to play golf. Not competitively, not professionally, uh, not on a team, but I used to really enjoy golf. I started playing in high school. I played a lot with um, the guy that I dated through high school and my sister and her husband. And then I just kind of kept up with it. Like, normally whomever I was dating was a golfer. Um, so, like, even when Chris and I first started dating, I took lessons with a girlfriend of mine. And um, golf is so frustrating. Like, I was okay at it for a girl, but I can't tell you how many times I wanted to wrap my club around a tree. Um, number 13. I never wore orange, red, or pink until just a few years ago. And I might have mentioned that sometime in an older video, but um, a lot of you guys probably are new to our channel and maybe would not know that about me. But because I have red hair, I always stayed away from those three shades because I just thought that they clashed with my hair so bad. Like if I wore orange or red back in the day, I used to think I just looked like a huge basketball. Um, number 14, this is really bad. I leave my contacts in for weeks at a time. Gross, right? Like, I know I'm ashamed. But um, I know it's going to come back to bite me in my butt one day. I'm probably going to end up having really horrible eyes, really horrible vision. Not that my vision isn't already bad enough. But I get really lazy, and I hate wearing glasses. I hate it. Like, I like to get cozy in bed at night and watch TV or watch videos on my iPhone. And glasses get all wonky and, like crooked when you're trying to get cozy in the bed and I just don't like to deal with it so I just keep my contacts in and I take them out when they bother me. Um, number 15. I have a pet peeve and it's when people spit. I think that when people spit in public grosses me out. I can't stand hearing it. I don't like to see it and it makes me want to get like violently uh, physical with that person. Um, number 17. I have never had any sort of dental work other than routine cleanings and having my wisdom teeth pulled. Like, never had major... You've never had a tooth pulled? My wisdom teeth? No, I mean a regular tooth. No. No. My teeth are like granite. I had I think... to have them pulled for braces, so you never had braces. Yeah, no, I never okay. had braces. I probably should have had braces, but I never did. I think I have my dad's teeth. He has really, like, strong, hard teeth, too. Um... Where did I leave off? 
Oh, I don't like to talk on the phone. I just don't enjoy it. I would rather text, email, um, I catch up with people maybe when I'm in my car commuting from work to home than to actually spend a lot of time on my phone at night in my house. The only exception I make is my mother. I will talk to her. Just about, me. Just about every night. And me. Sometimes Jamie. <laughs> we hate hell. Keeps yeah. it keeps it like 30 seconds. <laughs> um, number 19, I get really emotional at hearing the Star Spangled Banner. Like at sporting events or graduation ceremonies or, I don't know, anything where the national anthem plays. Like at the beginning of the Super Bowl. Whomever's singing that, I always get teary-eyed and cry. I don't know why. I don't cry a whole lot either. So it's something that brings out patriotic pride or something in me. Um... I sleep in earplugs every single night. <laughs> I have major issues when it comes to sleep. But my husband gets up at 4.45 every morning to go to work. And I don't want him waking me up between the hours of 4.45 and 5.45 when he leaves. So I just go to bed every single night with earplugs in. And it works for me. I sleep like a baby through him getting up for work. Um, okay, this is really strange too. I get oddly obsessed with meteorology and weather. Like when Hurricane Sandy came through, I think I lived with the TV on CNN or the Weather Channel for like 48 straight hours. You're your mom's child. I am my mom's child. <laughs> my mom has a weather radio at home and she'll, so she'll get like little warnings and stuff and she'll be like, hey honey, you be careful, okay? There's a thunderstorm coming through town. And you'll probably be on the road on your way home from work when it comes through. So you call me and you let me know when you get home, all right? I mean, it's like ridiculous. But she really, really, I think, instilled that in me. Um, okay. <laughs> this is gross. I thought I'd throw in one thing that Chris would say if he could change something about me, what would it be? So I asked him. And he said that he wished that I would get my hair out of the shower. <laughs> because I shed really, really bad in the shower. My hair comes out awful. And I'm still using that Garnier Fall Fight shampoo and conditioner, and it's not helping. Um, and I do. I leave my hair in the bottom of the shower, and it collects. But for some reason, I like to see it. Like, I like Ooh. to see how much... I know, isn't that gross? She probably makes hair dolls. I might. <laughs> um, I should probably be saving it. <laughs> But, um, no, I don't know. For some reason, it kind of fascinates me how much hair I lose. It's very odd. And then he'll, he'll be like, come clean out the shower. Get your hair out of the drain. Um, all right. This is one of my biggest fears. I've talked about a couple of my biggest fears in old videos, but I don't think I've ever talked about this one. I have a legit fear of tornadoes very, very, goes, or maybe this goes back to me being obsessed with meteorology and weather, but I have reoccurring dreams where I am being chased by tornadoes. And if you've seen any of our old videos where I talked about fears, I've mentioned that I, being chased is something that I cannot handle. Like even in a game of like tag, I will just fall to the ground and like my heart will stop beating. Um, I cannot handle it. So I, I have nightmares where these tornadoes are dropping out of the sky and sometimes I'm running on foot from them and sometimes I'm in a car trying to like outrun them but it's normally like multiple tornadoes dropping down and I'm just frantic and like trying to get as far away from them as possible and they really do scare the living daylights out of me. Um, and I have been, just in case you're wondering if I've had a bad experience with that, when I was like 15 or 14, something like that, we did have a tornado that kind of came through um, like Chester, Virginia, that area, um, or like Colonial Heights, and I was home alone when that tornado happened. I was in high school, and it happened during the summer. I want to say in like August. It did do damage, and it did it did like make a path not far from where my mom and dad live. But um, and then I was in Michigan one time, and. Um, yeah, we had a tornado, and you could see it. It was maybe th three miles away from us, and we had really bad hail and just awful, awful weather, but we could actually see the funnel cloud, and that was not cool. Um, okay, number 24, 
No. What am I number around my head? I don't know. <laughs> I stopped counting. I think I have 25. But I think I got out of order. Um, I am highly allergic to dust. And I think that I should convince Chris that we need to have somebody just come clean our house for us so that I don't have to suffer. Why should I have to suffer? Um, he can dust just fine, and it doesn't bother him. But I always end up getting stuck with the dusting, and I, like, die from it. Like, my eyes water. I get so congested. Like, my nose just pours running. It's annoying. I cannot handle it. Like, I cannot take it. Um... Something else that's an obsession of mine is I really love looking at floor plans. Like, it's not uncommon for Chris and I to talk about what our next house will look like and what it'll have and, you know, what kind of features we want to have and this and that. But I love to get those massively thick floor plan books from, like, Lowe's and Home Depot and go through, like, 5,000 floor plans. I just love them. And then if I find one that I like but it's not quite right, I'll redraw it. And I'm actually not that bad for not having, like, any education or, you know, I have never taken classes on how to do that. I, c I think I hold my own. All right, last thing. This is probably one of the worst things that I do to myself, but I crack my knuckles. I crack them. And, and no, it's so bad, but my hands ache if I don't. And I don't know what to attribute it to. I did gymnastics as a child. I don't know if I started doing it then, but um, you know what they say about like your knuckles being big because you pop them? I don't really think my knuckles are all that big. They're, they're maybe. They're huge. Stop I'm it. Kidding. They're not. <laughs> Um, they're maybe a little bit big, but it's not like I can't get my rings on and off or like that my rings don't fit me once I get them on. And I know one day I'm probably going to suffer from major arthritis because of it, but I don't know. I can't stop. Like my hands will literally like ache if I don't crack my knuckles. I have to do it. Um, but I used to crack a whole lot of other things like my back and my neck and I stopped doing that. So, all right. I think that's 25 things, maybe 26. Don't hold me to it. But, um... I, th I don't know. Did you learn something new about me? Was this totally boring? Did, did you find it fascinating? I doubt it. <laughs> um, but let me know. And if you would like to do this tag, then we tag you to join in and tell us all of your dirty little secrets. Which, although I don't think I shared probably my dirtiest little secrets, but I have to keep some things to myself. Okay. Thank you, Cassie, for tagging us. And Jamie's video is going to be up next. And hopefully she's going to tell us really naughty things. Because I know that's what y'all all, all want to hear. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye.